Hey guys, 828 Find Adventure here. A company sent me a um, magnetic car mount holder uh, for any vehicle really, for the Toyota Tundra, the Honda Ridgeline, the Subaru Legacy, or any other vehicle that has vents or a CD player. Now you could just use the vent mount, but it also comes with one that fits in the slot of your CD player if you have that in your car. My Tundra doesn't, the, uh, ha the Subaru does, has a slot. So um, we're going to try it out in there, and uh, this one's made by, I don't know if you can see that right there, but anyways, uh, everything comes in this box, the uh, magnet mounts, the uh, two mounts, uh, and the adhesives for the back of your phone to stick a little metal ring on there so it sticks, but just like uh, this right here. So um, anyways, let's check out this video. Okay, everyone, let's do a little unboxing here. Let's see what we got. This is a phone mount. Pretty much work in every car. Here are the directions and the little templates. Here are the directions and the little templates you use for each type of phone, depending on what you got. It's got some brief instructions here, you know, on how to do this. Here is the actual mount. I guess this is the magnetic part, but this part here it's gonna be like connected to the clamp on your dash and then your phone will go like this. Boop. So let's get that out. And here, looks like you have a couple of mounting pieces. Now this is, this is very heavy and very substantial. Seems to be very well made with this ball mount here for adjustment. It also comes with this one right here. Again, these are made very well with like this nylon type plastic. This one has an adjusting knob. You can put this inside your CD clamp. I guess your C CD clamp, your CD slot, if you have a radio that has a still has a CD player in it, and you tighten up this knob, and it tightens down. And I've used these before, and they work really good. Yeah, this is um this is made really nice. Then, lastly, at the bottom of the, of the box, you get these pieces right here that are little adhesive pieces, a cleaning wipe, and these pieces of metal right here. And what these do is these stick on the back of the phone or your case, and these are I'll show you. Woo! Do you see that? That's strong. Yeah, that's strong. So anyways, um, so let's go and uh, get this installed. So this is everything that comes in the box. You have these metal strips here to connect to the magnets. You have all these strips. You have instructions here, plenty of instructions and templates and alcohol wipe. This piece here, which has, I guess it has the magnet in it. Two different types of clamps. Comes in this box and also comes with a warranty. So, looks like it's a 24 month warranty. All to attach your phone so you can safely drive around. So let's take a look at these. So these are the clamps. That's everything. So let's go ahead and put this on the phone and then get it mounted. Now, if your phone has a MagSafe case, you will not need to use these metal rings. It will just, this right here will attach right to it. It does that on my 14 Pro. If it's an older phone, you will need to use these rings. So, you know, I guess it's in the construction, how much metal it has or aluminum, but just wanted to let you know that. Read the directions thoroughly. Make sure your phone needs, you know, the metal ring or not. So you need to be careful. You don't want to, you know, tear up your phone. Just wanted to add that. But let's get on with it. So I'm going to be using this phone right here. I'm going to clean this. This does not have a MagSafe case. So... I will need to put one of these on here, one of these magnets, 
and uh, so let's go ahead and do that. And, but I've got to use a template. It comes with a bunch of templates. And these templates right here, you can see for different phones. This one right here, I'm just gonna go like this. And then that's how you're gonna line up the sticker. So right here, so let's do this. Let's take this. Okay, folks, bear with me. I lost the audio on this portion of the video, so I'll be doing a voiceover for the rest. So what I'm describing here is the way I figured out to get these metal rings to stick to a just what I call a naked phone. It has no case on it. I emailed the uh, company that makes this, and they said I needed to put one of the clear adhesives down first, then stick the metal ring on top. That makes the uh, magnet stick really good and strong, but it won't pull those pieces off the phone case. I was having a problem with that and couldn't figure it out, but they got back to me real quick and uh, told me what to do. So this first mount is the one that attaches to the vent itself. It's got really, um, I'm going to say, kind of a heavy-duty plastic and metal construction. So you just hook it over your vent, and then you tighten it down and it stays right there just like that. Now on the back of the magnet piece, the round disc that's magnetic, there is also a wing nut that you can tighten down to make it firm so it doesn't flop all over the place. And it is sturdy. Once it attaches to your phone using that, uh, you know, the magnet, it is, it's on there. It was, it was really sturdy so and stable. So, um, you know, I was really surprised. The magnet itself is inside the disc that's attached to the vent holder and it is um, got a rubber coating on top so it's not going to scratch your phone or anything that's a strong magnet so look at this you can you can tell that, that there is really good quality here the plastic is heavy duty the magnet is you know rubber coated and inside this piece it's a mix of metal and plastic parts but once you clamp this down on your vent, it is very stable. And, uh, you know, compared to some of the other ones I've seen, this one really clamps on tight. Okay, let's go ahead and do the uh, second clip that goes into your CD player on your vehicle's head unit. This piece right here goes into the slot. It has a knob on the bottom that you loosen up to get it into the slot. And then you tighten it so it doesn't fall out. But mine was pretty snug fit. There is a like rubber coating on these fins that fit into the CD opening. But as you can see here, I'm showing you the knob that tightens it up and loosens it up for fitment. And it's real easy, just slides right in. If it's too snug, don't force it, but it definitely goes in there. Um, I just kind of wiggled it back and forth and it went in. Now what I'm going to do after this is mounted in the CD player of your head unit is get the magnet piece off the vent clamp. You just loosen up the wing nut on the back and pull it right off because there is a little ball on the end that matches on both mounts, the vent and the CD mount. And then you just pop it on there and you turn that wing nut in the back to tighten it up. Once it's tightened up and secure and aimed where you want it, you can try out your phone on it for placement. Now the phone, uh, you know, vertically will uh, obstruct the uh, head units, uh, you know, your radio and stuff, but you can turn it sideways and, uh, and see just fine. I like the vent ones better because of this. I don't like anything obstructing my backup camera or anything like that, but you know, for some people, this is all they can use is the CD mount and, uh, It'll work great for that. Here's a better view of the mount that fits in the CD slot. You can see the knobs that help tighten it down and the magnet. And like I said, the quality is real good. They did a good job making this one. 
uh, compared to others I've seen, especially on the vent mount, uh, this one has, you know, really good clamp on it and uh, it really holds on there sturdy. And, uh, you know, it's nice to see because some, in some vehicles, this is the only option that you have. Well, guys, I hope you liked that video of me uh, hooking up a magnetic phone mount in the Subaru. And, uh, you know, or it would work in any other vehicle. It, and it could be for, um, say, you need an extra mount so your passenger can have a phone mount as well. Like in the Tundra, I have a big metal mount for all kinds of things. But the passenger might want to have a little phone in front of them so they can also navigate for you. Well, the quality on this is really good. The plastic and metal construction, it's, it's a very well-made uh, phone mount. I don't use that type in the Tundra, but there's a lot of vehicles where you don't have a choice and you have to hook something to your vent. And it seems like the magnet mount is, is kind of a, a trend. A lot of people have those magnets on the back of their phones or on their vehicle somewhere. And this is a nice one to get. Um, you know, like I said, a company sent me that and uh, to review and try out. And, you know, it's, um, it's made very well. You get two mounts and you get a bunch of adhesive rings to go on the back. Now, remember, just like on this one, I put the clear ring down first and then the metal ring, which sticks to the magnet. And it works great. Well, I hope you like this video. Um, you know, if you're interested in one of these uh, metal magnetic uh, mounts for your phone. And, uh, you know, if you would, please subscribe. Please hit the thumbs up button and comment. If you've used one of these, comment on, you know, how you like it. What are your thoughts? Uh, and I'll get right back to you or any other questions you might have about the truck, the Ridgeline or the, uh, the Subaru. Uh, so just, um, you know, make sure you comment. I'd really appreciate it. Kind of motivates me to keep things going and, um, uh, and stay tuned. I got a whole bunch more videos coming, so I will see you next time. See you.